What's up, YouTubers? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well out there. In today's video, we are looking at pentatonic cascading pattern of fives. Very much Eric Johnson, Joe Bonamassa type licks. So let's go. Cool. So today's video, cascading pattern of five pentatonic licks, right? Something we know both Eric Johnson and Joe Bonamassa have mastered. Speed, technique, and accuracy. Those two guys are the kings at this super fast pentatonic licks. And it's just a marvel to see them do it with so little effort. It's just effortless mastery. Today's video will really dive into where we can begin with this technique, right? This is a technique that I'm still working on, right? And in doing this video, I hope it helps you get a better grasp on what's really happening and give you all the platform to build on to then have more confidence with these pattern of fives. So we can really break it down into about three steps, right? Step number one is connecting and figuring out these five positions of the pentatonic scale, right? What are they? Step number two is how we can connect all five to essentially be playing a three octave pentatonic scale, right? Step number three is implementing those two ideas and start implementing this cascading, right? Going up, going down, and resolving, right? As well as what is this picking pattern that really falls wonderfully in this pattern of five, right? So without further ado, let's dive into today's video. Cool. So step number one, identifying these five pentatonic shapes, right? We'll do a quick recap because I did post a video about pentatonics, I think last week, which is linked below in the description. So to catch up, if we're in G minor pentatonic, right? We have G, B flat, C, D, F, G. Right? Right, I'll be first position we can call it. Then from the second degree. To the third degree. From the fourth degree, this D. Right there from the flat seven. And then again, root. That is step one. Again, to recap, from the root, second degree, third degree, fourth degree, right? And the fifth degree being the flat seven. That would be step one. Step two, right, is slowly, Right? Everything is slow and steady, right? There is literally no reason to rush any of these, right? Step two, connecting, right? How can we get from a super low G to super high G, right? And this is, again, mentioned in the video below. And we can really just start by 
just changing which direction we go. If we're going from G, B flat, C, D, right? Our next note is F. Well, we have F, third fret of the D string, but also F, eighth fret of the A string, which then we can resolve to G, right? Now, if we have B flat as our next third, our minor third, right? We can go here or here. Right, then we can do pentatonic. Right, or we can go. Right, that kind of stuff happens when you really see which direction you want to go. Right, and then you can do that same thing from the higher strings. Right. That was a quick recap, right? In the video below, again, I keep mentioning it, we talk about that much slower, right? So now, step three, the reason you clicked on this video, how can we and how do we involve this cascading pattern? So I think I'm gonna try to zoom in and we'll come back. Cool, now we're insanely zoomed in. How about that? Pattern of five. So, what are we doing there? Well, obviously, we're descending in fives, right? One, two, three, four, five. Right. One, two, three, four, five. 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 One. Right. That would be almost step one, right? Playing it cleanly, slowly in root position. Right. And the picking technique, which I'll show you right now, is a really big part in this style of playing. So give me one second. So now you see my right hand. Hello. And this would be the picking technique. Right. So it's essentially down, up, down, up, down, down. Right? So you're in including a bit of economy picking. With those two down strokes. Right. 
that picking technique is key to this cascadingness, right? That's even a word, right? So again, slow and steady always wins this kind of race. So now let me adjust the camera again and we'll see how we can slowly implement this three octaveness. Cool, camera angle changed and now let's see how we can do a three octave descending type pattern. Let's check it out. Right, slowly. So what's really happening is actually nothing life-changing complexity, right? Up here, I'm descending two patterns, right? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Right? Then I'm coming here, descending one pattern. Then I'm transitioning to the G, eighth fret of the B string. Right, and very end is getting back to the root. Right, so that's one idea. With the same idea of getting from super high to super low, you have different versions, right? Maybe something like this, slowly. So maybe something like more Bonamassi, we're including this ninth degree. Right? You can go if you want from this G to this G. If you want also, <laughs> you can ascend to like the Albert King position right here, right? And then descend as well. So something like, right? That sounds pretty cool. Like. Those are all fun ways you can implement pattern of five. If you want also, you can implement like the top two or three strings, just those ones, something like. And that brings you all the way back here. Right. 
those are all ways you can implement pattern of five in your playing, right? I guess the conclusion is with everything, know your scale shapes. Right, how to connect them all. And then finally, the down, up, down, up, down, down. And by practicing repetitively, slowly, right, you can slowly implement these patterns of five in your playing. Well, all right, guys, that is today's video on how you can implement and how you can sort of break down these cascading pattern of five licks a la Eric Johnson, Joe Bonamassa, right? These are very, very cool, fun phrases you can do. And like you guys, I'm still learning. I'm still practicing these licks because I really want to have them under my hands, better, more accurate, faster, better technique, right? So this is an ongoing practice routine for all of us right now. So with all that being said, if you enjoyed today's video, please press like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one.